Hey guys, hope you can hear me past the Saturday rave music. Actually, it's good music to listen to as you're learning about the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, important card number 10 here, the Wheel of Fortune. When it comes up in a tarot spread, it really means that there's like a spanner being thrown in the works. A situation is going to affect you externally. Something's going to affect you that you haven't necessarily created. And that effect can be either good or bad. So it's really important to all you tarot readers out there. Oh, let's find the screen. <laughs> i got to reset this thing. I can't find my finger. Anyhow, there it is. It's really important to all you tarot readers out there that <laughs> you check and see what comes after this card. It you know, let's say for example, old Aunt Edna and Uncle Albert. Uncle Albert dies, so Aunt Edna comes to live with you. You had nothing to do with that, him dying. But you're the one who's been asked to look after her. Let's say she comes to the house and it it works out fantastically. She teaches the kids all about the past, bakes them cookies, helps you with, you know, child sitting, and, and she fits into the family groove really well. So that's the Wheel of Fortune, if you like, acting in a good way. So there'd be good cards coming after that. Now let's say you get the same scenario, old Aunt Edna, who's now, you know, widowed because Albert passed away, comes to live with you, starts to get dementia, leaves the gas fire on, screams at the kids, is constantly wetting herself, then you get a problem. That's fate happening and letting you down. Anyhow, I hope you've enjoyed that. Have a good Saturday. We meet Wendy's here, so speak to you later. Bye.